mind advancing, jaw some branching, and make it through my circumstances. But you know I'm wise and never just to hide my pound. Got a house in the hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in today this video is on how to make a wig without occlusion and i think this is like the fifth or sixth episode i'm not sure please if you haven't subscribed please do so by clicking the subscribe button below like this video leave a comment below and share to friends and family this is the hair we are using today and it's called afro b a short hair of about 8 to 10 inches fiber hair the purpose of this video will first use the razor to open the weft of the hair because it actually comes double that's the weft of the hair it comes double and also because we really want the back side to really lay very very flat and I'm doing this only to the back side of the wig cap just to the back side of the wig cap so that it will lay very very flat and for this video we're not doing the turnover method when we get to the end we just cut the weft and place the remaining part on the next line and continue sewing after placing the weft we'll apply bonding glue to the weft of the hair please if you cannot find bonding glue you can use any glue that is reachable that will serve all the glues for making hairs will, serve, will actually serve you must not necessarily use bonding glue applying the bonding glue we then place it on the wig cap gradually without leaving any space and also we apply little pressure a little pressure just for it to stick properly then use a gel spray so that it will hold or secure it better after placing about four to five lines of the single weft then we just start placing the double wefts and then by placing it we we'll try as much as possible not to leave any space just placing the weft very very close to each other so i forgot to tell you guys that this week is the side part when i'm approaching the middle part of the week up we we'll start placing it one sided then we we'll continue placing the hair until i get to the front part of the week start by placing the single weft round before I start placing the double weft round. After placing, we we'll use gel spray to secure it and then we'll just continue placing it round just because of the closing. Basically what I'm doing on the front part of the wig cap is just to apply bonding glue on the weft of the hair, then place it gradually on the wig cap, apply little pressure and then use gel spray to secure it. And while I'm placing, I'm taking it round because of the closing. So first I use the single weft first before using the double weft. I hope you get it. The essence of me doing this video or this series on how to make a wig or client's hair without a closure is just to teach you guys that you can also slay without closures and fronters. And also for those of us that cannot really afford closures or fronters, this is specifically for you guys. So yeah. And if you notice, I also have videos on how to or tutorials on how to make a closure wig and a frontal wig. Well, if we just take it round the wig cap until there are no more space and then add pressure on the end part, spray with spray gel and then use a tail comb to press the closing down.
we just use the same tail comb to open the side part and then use the back of the tail comb to press the side part very well so that it will be pronounced for the trimming we'll take a razor to trim the back very very flat and short and then for the front you can style it to your choice Here is the final look of the back and the front and for the front side you can style it to choice you can do you can style it to fringe you can style it to the side anyhow you just want to style it thanks so much for watching this video to the end please leave a comment if you are confused like this video if it's helpful share to friends and family i will talk to you guys in another video stay blessed